Yo, 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 what's up? This is Chi Chapman with the Chi Chapman Show, Media on Mail. Um, we got a crazy show today. We're talking about relationships, everything that comes with the relationship, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, the toxic traits, the social media, every goddamn thing. So we're going crazy today. I got some great people in the building, and I'm going to start on my left. Oh, what's good, y'all? Shit, my name's uh, Elgin. I go by Els, 34 years young. Uh, currently in a relationship. I guess we need to state our status on here. Uh, but yeah, man, just enjoying life. Love to travel uh, and gain perspective each and every day. I'll throw it over to Sam. Hi, I'm Samantha. I am uh, currently single. Been in some crappy relationships. <laughs> I'm 34. And I'm just working hard at life. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, everybody. I'm Brittany. I am 36. I'm a single mom, um, corporate b- baddie, working hey. corporate. Talk your shit. Um, <laughs> kind of a big boss up there. Uh, got a little boy, a seven year old, single mama, and not in a relationship, and just doing this thing called life. All right. So there's a lot of topics we're going to touch on today. Um, the first topic we're gonna to touch on is the dating in your thirties. <laughs> we gonna we gonna start with Brittany. Uh, uh, dating in your thirties. Uh, there's piss in the pond. <laughs> it's um, a struggle. Yeah. Uh, it's not that fun. Like it's not all it's cracked up to be. Um, I would say dating in your thirties. You definitely have to be more intentional um, of who you're dating. Dating apps suck. I don't recommend them <laughs> at all. And yeah, it, it it's hard. It's probably um, harder because you have a kid too. Absolutely, you can't have certain people around your kid. No, it's can't. You can't just be entertaining for fun anymore. Yeah. And unfortunately, with a kid too, like that just throws other hurdles and obstacles in there. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm single right now. <laughs> do you ever so, date like single dads? I do date single dads. Do you like them more than men that don't have kids? My two exes were single dads. Um, <laughs> so maybe not. No, I, if I could find a unicorn, um, and my type of unicorn would be a man in his later 30s, no kids, does not want none of his own, but is willing to be a bonus dad to my baby. That's what's up. That is a unicorn. Can I ask how old your kid is? He's seven. Okay. Yeah. And when I say single mom, let me just specify I'm a truly, truly single mom. <laughs> as in, you know, I don't get a week off. You know, every other week I don't get days off. And also in reference to my son's father is passed away. So it it really is single mom. And that makes it even 10 times tough. 25, 8. Yeah. And you're raising a boy too. It's different, especially as a female. Yeah. It's tough. tough. So, yeah, that's my daddy in my 30s right now. How's it going? We going to go with Elgin. Uh, shit, man, I didn't have much experience. I was telling them a little earlier, like, got out of a long-term relationship when I was, like, 28, 29. Started just doing my thing. You know, I really looked inward. Uh, that was, like, a big focus of mine because I felt like I needed to be the man that I needed to be for myself before yeah. I even, like, attempted to get out of woman again. So I was kind of just fucking around, if you will. Yeah, and then yeah. reeled it in, ended up meeting a girl. Took it hella slow though. You know, yeah, just having too. all them boundaries up from my yeah. last shit, like felt like it was wasted time. So, you know, we went through a lot uh, through that phase, but pretty locked in right now uh, in a good space. And we just be honest. That's the biggest thing that we built our Absolutely. relationship on. You know what I'm saying? Like she accepted me during those phases. So yeah, yeah, for sure. It's been, it's been golden on the back end. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm finally that man that I want to be for myself so I could better serve her but yeah man it's it's tough it's a whole new dynamic especially that like coming out of a relationship and then like younger girls older girls my last girl was older she was five six years older than me and the one I was oh, in a shit. long relationship with so I'm talking to you know 22 21 year olds again I'm 28 like nah this shit different bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> different so I'm glad I'm blessed to be in my situation but I just challenge everybody to look inwards honestly like yeah because uh, you got to be that person for yourself first Absolutely. but you know what too many people don't do that though no, so kudos fact. to you for taking the time to do the work on yourself yep. to better yourself for your current relationship because many don't do that no for sure and i mean a lot of women handicap that behavior though as well like you know they want the 
I, if I'm doing well for myself, I can afford to do the luxuries, travel and all that shit. And then you end up with a woman that's just there for those things. You know what I'm saying? So oh. you end up handicapped because you think you're popping. But these yeah. girls don't want nothing but the lifestyle from you, bro. They don't, they don't want that shit for real. They don't want your betterment. So I just got lucky. I feel like, too, I also found a woman that was in that same space and was able to, so to have that conversation. Equals. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Some people, um, like with the relationship, like how you said you took your time, mm -hmm. some people hate being alone. So they'll jump oh, right into the next relationship with all of the. That's how I used to do This is the first yeah. time I've been single in a long time. Yeah. I've always had a boyfriend, for, and it's like long relationships. Oh, but to your point, too, a lot of people cannot sit with themselves mm -hmm. or that truly like bothers them. Why the, That's why they're hopping from relationship to relationship or just even space fillers. Yeah. Like so many people, like, get a hobby. Like nice. you don't have to be a dynamic of two, like be your complete self first. Yeah. And I think that makes a lot of people uncomfortable. And like he said, he's like, I have to focus on myself, figure myself out before I jumped into something else. Like you said, a lot of people don't do that. And then when you in those long term relationships, you look, you don't got no identity like for yourself no more. I met her when I was 22, bro. So I'm you don't even a know puppy, who you, you are. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And my growth was all based off of our relationship. It yeah. wasn't like an individual growth. So yeah, I People got to go through that, bro. And hurt people hurt people. You know, yeah, that's what they sure. always say. Absolutely. Um, so men and women, I think it's the same thing, bro. Like, I challenge a lot of y'all just look in the mirror. Because <laughs> that's it for me. Oh, but... bro. Sam? I think it's just harder when you're in your 30s to, like, mesh two relationships back together almost. Because you are established. Like, as a woman, I'm established. As a man, you are. So you're trying to figure that out. Then when you're younger, you're molding together. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes not best for one or the other. Yeah. But I mean, I, I've always been in long term relationships and most of them not that great. And then um, now I've been single for probably I'm 34, last three years. Oh, that's just so And I like it. I think it would be really hard to start dating again or just have somebody all the time around more than anything. I've space. gone on dates and it's hard. It's just, it's really hard to find men that like are more traditional because yeah. the new ones, they all want that like. They think they want a woman that's like high in power, equal, but then they get it and they're not ready for it. And you yeah. can tell when men aren't ready for it right away now. Yeah, right off the show. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just different for me, I feel like. Yeah, that's what's it's up. just me, myself. So I'm like, I'm really judging them hard. Because why? I take care of myself already. Why am I going to include you in my life? You definitely got to judge them hard, for sure. And you don't want to take care of a man. Yeah. Okay. I know, And I know men are like, oh, we want to take care of women, but one, mm, that's tradition. Y'all should. I already take care of myself. I'm not asking you to do like pay my rent or anything. Just be a provider as a man. Be like a man. That's and how it. can you make my life easier? Mm -hmm. exactly. Not just monetarily, yeah. obviously. Mentally. Mentally. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. Talk physically. To me. Let me like, vent. Be, be my space. Yeah. Be my safe space. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of bums. Like a lot of. A lot, <laughs> a lot of bums. No, right? In both ways, females and men. It's just a lot bums. of lazy bums. There's so, they. Everyone is looking for just like that yeah, easy way out. Somebody to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's crazy. Um, as for myself, um, I mean, I've been with my lady since I was 21, and we've been rocking ever since. We got two kids. Um, I didn't rush to have kids. Back in the, I took my time mm -hmm. and we had that communication like, OK, let's let's knock this out. Let's do all of this before we have kids, That's before good. we had your goal set. House, get engaged, the whole the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? So I had my first kid at 30. You have that more traditional. Yeah. I got my house at old 29. school relationship. Yeah, yeah. So it was like I'm not trying to because I seen a okay. lot of my friends. A lot of my friends had kids early and it was just like. Y'all had kids by like this. Like, I think because like, they're in that mode where they're just yeah. like, yeah. they're together. They get married real quick. They're yeah. probably like only together for like a year. You yeah. guys really don't know who you are. To yeah. them. And I mean, I feel like our generation, like as a whole, though, just had kids fast early. Yeah, you know A lot of people just got them out the way, like on some bullshit. Yeah. Well, on I think you're like kind of taught that, like your yeah. condition. Like, look at your like grandparents, how they did, and mm -hmm. then like how your parents kind of are. Yeah. Well, one of my friends, her kids are. A senior and an eighth grader, so they're babysitting my kids now. I will my kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our group of friends, they ba they're the babysitters. So, so first of all, we appreciate. It. Okay. Uh, what age did you have your first kid? Um, I was twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So I waited a little bit later yeah. too. That's so not to get off topic, Chief, but is marriage like on the horizon? Like, what are y'all thoughts on marriage these days? I feel like Ooh. it's like a different dynamic these days than yeah, what it used to be. I think just 
just know who you're involved with. Yeah. Because a lot of shit changes. Like once you like once you have a kid and, and when you start splitting everything, joint accounts and every, you're on a mortgage, you got to make sure that like before you do real. all of that, make sure you're for really, really like you guys locked. are able to function that yeah. way first. Yeah. 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 You got to lock in. You because know, because once uh, you're married, it's a whole different. It's, yeah. It's, you got to make the paperwork sure you, and everything. It's a lot of people change once. They yeah, get locked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A few people don't realize locked, you gotta yeah. pay a lot of money to get divorced too. So but a lot of people are stuck with people. <laughs> Just I be because saying people let themselves them. go. Yeah. Like they get married and then it's like I'm married. You know, that's like the, that's it. That's all right, I need out of life. Goal, like I'm like, married no. now. Like yeah. And I'll be like, nah, bro. Like there's so much more. Now you gotta provide and build for y'all yeah. as a, t- a as a. We talked about power couples. Like yeah. that's a power couple to me. Like y'all locked it down and now y'all building still versus. Yeah, that's like the end goal just to get married. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, there's way just, more to it. I think with relationships, you just have to compromise. It's a lot of compromise. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a yes. lot of just being upfront. Just be able real. to communicate. Yeah, communication. And you have to learn mm-hmm. how the other person communicates. For like, sure. they say, like, the first year is just your honeymoon. And then when you guys start fighting, that's how you know you're really you together. Really you really know the individual. Yeah, you, you, and you how learn you how to conflict. each other fight and how to calm each other down mm-hmm. versus everything's just lovey dovey. Because that's a fairy tale. Yeah. Really? There's no yeah. such thing as fairy tales. And I know a lot of like couples too, like one of the main things while, while they break up and go their separate ways is they be arguing over bills. Yeah. <laughs> like money. M- money's money, important. It, it, everything is like money, 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 money when it's in a relationship. And the problem is too, a lot of people in the initial dating stages, they don't ask those hard questions. They'll jump into a relationship. The relationship continues to grow, but you truly do not know these individuals. Like a lot of people don't bring up like religion. Do you want kids? What's your sex expectations? Like multiple things encompass like if two people are compatible. Yeah, for sure. I think people are uncomfortable by it because there's times we'll all go and I'll talk to men like that and they think that like I'm being a gold digger or whatever by asking those questions. And I'm like, I'm not asking that. I, I take care of myself. I work hard. I always work two to four jobs a month just depending on what I want to afford for myself. Yeah, for sure. And yet, I, why would you call me a gold dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, actually, I asked, and I didn't even want to ask it, like, in reference to finances, because no. you just that, that's, know. Not, that's not the biggest factor to me. But I asked somebody, and they truly got offended. What do you bring to the table? Mm. Why? And, like, legitly, was like, you have the audacity to ask me that? Like, what? <laughs> like, are- I, truly, like, I can lay out what I bring. Like, yeah support and i said it's not just about what i have my assets like that's not what it's about like i'm gonna bring you support i'm gonna be there for you like the emotional um those people aren't mentally ready for it when that's how they think yes because i ask those questions to build like a story about you i'm getting to know you to know are we gonna mesh is this a friendship is this more do i even want to be around you right now like yeah you gotta keep it like 100 right from the jump oh, yeah bro <laughs> because yeah. you don't want those like later down the line you know what i mean yeah this people is, have a hard yeah. time communicating yeah, yeah for sure they don't know sure. how anymore that and they take people that over communicate like like what they look at them where but yeah. that's what for me like that's one of my like strong notes if you can't communicate i can't i can't do it with you mm-hmm. like at all like i dealt with somebody in my past he would be going through something like I'm supposed to be your partner. I'm supposed to be your safe space. But he was going through something and he would just shut down and not communicate at all. And I'm like, talk to me like, let me see if I can help you. Like, let's talk through this. And it was just that. Like, then what am I here for? If you can't even open up to me, I mean, then I think it's like a trust. Yeah, Yeah. you You feel like you're not being trusted and you have no reason not to be trusted with this person. At 30, like if you can't communicate, I don't care if you're my coworker, relationship, friend, like, but we got to be able to talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can't just tap in with me, roll da 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 da, da, and then fall off the face of the earth for three days. Like, it's not gonna work in any relationship at all. That's a good thing with the red flags. Yeah. Yeah. So. Exactly it. That's a huge red flag for me when I was dating again and stuff like that. You know, you go on a date. Yeah, if we texting every day and then boom, it's like a weekend we don't talk. If I'm not texting her, I'm probably doing some bullshit. Like I'm gonna be a hundred. Something's going on. Right? Vice versa, I expect that. Like you know, oh, I didn't, I didn't see your text all day. Like you That's on your cap. phone all day. We're thirty two years old. Like, on their phone. <laughs> you got a kid. I know you on your phone all yeah, day. For so sure. you know that that is a huge red flag for me. Is just like ability to communicate and be honest. Like. It's all good. 
half the time the women don't even want that anymore from you, bro. So just keep it pee and give her a fair shot or give me a shot to make the assessment. But you lying and not communicating. That's sneaky. And, that's sneaky, bro. Yeah, that's weird. That's all I'm saying. I don't like sneaky mm -hmm. people. What's our red flags, Brick? Oh, for me, my red flag would have to be the phone thing. So, right, like, let's be honest. Let, let's be honest. <laughs> we have our phones with us at least probably 90% uh, of the, the time. Like, if you're taking, like, four hours to text me back or the I'm just seeing this. No, no, the hell you're not just seeing nothing. <laughs> um, but, like, respond to me. Like, I'm busy, too. But I'm going to respond. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to wait, like, a day to respond. That, and then also, I would say one of my other biggest red flags is for me, I keep my career kind of under wraps until yeah. they kind of get to know me. But if they ask me, like, hey, can I get, like, what would you do in this situation, like, financially? Or they're, like, telling me about a project that they want to do, and it's very initial into our relationship. Listen, I'm not funding anything. I'm not <laughs> investing anything. Well, that's at all. He's probably not going to have time for yeah. you if he's just yeah. starting something like, like exactly. that. You like, don't have time for me. Like, I cannot. No, I'm not funny, sponsoring bro. anybody yeah, ever again sure. in my life. <laughs> for sure. For sure. They're coming with the business proposal. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah whole like invest like this is what we're what i want to do this is how it's going to grow and invest i'll be honest like you know i, I was bamboozled you, once how do you find okay. them that you even go out with like where do you find them that's hard mm -hmm. so i don't really do apps yeah um typically it's a friend of a friend or hey like i think you should meet so and so or whatever or it could be a good like dm situation where they slid in the yeah. dms maybe we'll talk a little while and finally want to like link in person yeah. but Listen, or find me at the grocery store, okay? Like, <laughs> <My> dream. <laughs> I don't want to meet nobody at like a club, really, because I know where the attentions are there. Like, that's I don't my red do flag. That. Seeing men that go out too much, the bar bars. Not yes. like you're just out having dinner or going doing an event, like bar going bar bars. Yeah. And I know you're talking to little girls, yeah, and like yeah. they look like little girls now. Yeah. So if you're my sure. age or older, I'm kind of judging you on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. Uh, toxic traits. We gonna start with Britt. What's your toxic trait? Um, my toxic trait is I'm an overthinker. So I get in my head a lot Same. and I overthink. And um, I seen like a reel not too long ago, but like it said like an overthinker needs somebody that over communicates. And I completely like agree with that. But you know, if I'll get like scenarios in my head and stuff, but I'm trying to be better. <laughs> like that's one of the things I'm working on with myself. I'm like, you know what? It's cool, shit happens, like, let's just let it flow instead of getting these scenarios in my head. Outside of that, I don't think I have too many toxic traits. He can be asleep, right? Like, he with that bitch. I know he Both intuition. I'm sleep. <laughs> I'm fucking sleep. It is intuition. Or it's like you just... Sometimes you have Women notice really. the most smallest details where men don't pay attention. So, like, we just know how to put the clues together so easily. Yeah, that's why y'all cheat better. <laughs> women only cheat when it's um, emotionally when they've been emotionally deprived of something men that's cheat I will, because they're horny that's the difference I will agree with that which is uh, worse which out of those two the, forms of probably cheating. the emotional the emotional one, the emotional yeah. one for sure that's why men Absolutely. it hurts them harder when women cheat on them that's fair because you guys weren't ready for it because you mm -hmm. didn't emotionally take care of her fair when your girl stops talking to you or communicating, that's when that's, she's done. That's when, that's that's when she's done. She's done. She don't want to argue no more. That's not real. Right? <laughs> when she gets, she gets quiet. She's going to be like, what's wrong? What's wrong, girl? Tell I don't me. Tell argue me. With sit down. Asshole. He's like, you hungry? Tea, yeah. Yeah, when she's not hungry, yeah. he be like, yeah, that's when he lost her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got an appetite. No, I'll feed myself. <laughs> no, I'm going to go get my own food. Hey, yeah. what's, your, what's, your, what's your toxic trait, Elgin? Uh, honestly, bro, I'm pretty fair uh my biggest thing that i would say is that like i expect shit out of like expect myself out of other people if that makes sense so yeah. like sometimes i do put a lot of weight on her like why would you do that you know what i'm saying i would never move like that or you want her to like near you gotta have you grace do. you know what i'm saying at the end of the day if you're in a relationship people gonna fuck up bro and yeah same for me i would want that grace but i'll be looking at my life and how i operate i got a nice little routine you know, shit is consistent. So I feel like sometimes that'd be like my toxic trait is just 
placing my expectations that I have for myself on on our partner and she might be on a different journey. She might be having a bad week or whatever the case may be, but I'm like, brush that shit off, let's go. Yeah. You know, and uh You can't expect you and others. You yeah. I, I, I do that too though. I, I I'm a, like I would never do that. Why would you do this? Exactly. And I had to scale it back and I said, you have to learn to expect people of who they are and not yourself and them. And that's when I started realizing like, oh, I really rock with you, you know, like, because we we had different agreement or different mindsets. Even when we have like hypothetical conversations, I'd be like, what the fuck? But you start (laughs) to gain perspective, right? Like, you know, that's a whole new perspective. And like, okay, I'm learning now. So yeah, that that would probably be it though. Other than that, bro, I'm pretty upfront with mine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. It's just reassurance when I feel like when girls do that, they Mm -hmm. want that reassurance from you and you have to learn to give that. Yep, no, that's real. Yeah, I don't think I don't. I don't have any red flags, bro. No. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I kind of let my girl do her thing. I do my thing, but we know what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't be blowing her phone up. I'm. I don't care what you what you wear. I don't. I don't care where you go. If your friends, you guys are gonna, confident with yeah, each other. Yeah, that's that's exactly full trust, yeah. confidence. Yeah, I don't like. I don't trip. That's I'm the not, dream relationship not, everybody I'm wants. I'm not jealous. I don't like. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I say that, bro, but I'm definitely jealous. All right? I, I, bro, I swear, I've never been jealous. I've never I'll been a that. jealous person. At all. That's I shit. think that way. Until you break my trust, yeah. then that's when I start thinking like the other toxic yeah. way. But agreed. I will always give the person the benefit of the doubt until I've like I see it with my eyes, not hear it say. Because you I, know I like that. I try to do that, like and I'll be honest, like I was not a jealous person, but like ooh. I, I would think things because of what I've dealt with in my past yeah. past yeah. relationships. Like you know, I, I dated a local rapper, so mm. we know how that goes and all things I went through with that. So yeah. Yeah. I'm dating uh, a lot of local DJs. You know what I mean? Like, goodness gracious. But, um, no, I completely, I, I definitely agree with the, like, the process of the trust in each, in each other. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's so hard. I think today, I think that's one of my, you know what, that is one of my red flags for myself is, is I have trust issues, yeah. like yeah, deep rooted, like trust issues from things in the past, but I am trying to be better with it. I think so. as women, when we get in our thirties too, men should just know we all have trust issues yeah, and they should understand and treat us that way and be sure. more because we have to, we're not young. We need to build that with you in a different way. Well, and our right. time's shorter now as yeah. women, like biologically, and you know men i feel like men can you guys have a wide range of yeah. women you can date mm-hmm. you know if i decide hey I, for whatever reason i want to go date a 21 year old i'm a cougar now yep but we get along so well but yeah it, it's tough You're the age where you can date the son and the dad i'm telling you yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah, that's... i don't think i could date the son though no it's i just, can't either the mentality it's hard, it just yeah. doesn't work the you're like, like, you're like yes ma'am and you all the time yes ma'am yeah. <laughs> no ma'am <Yeah. laughs> and they'll, like, <laughs> talk, they'll kind of talk real flirty and stuff with you and i don't know it doesn't do anything it kind of makes me ick. It, i get the ick from i'm like why are you talking to me like that and then all these new words it they're using I now. Know, like, I know. You like what? Like what? <laughs> I always what? say bet. That's crazy. I, I, know, I can't do that. I always say that. I'll, I'll, someone will be talking to me, and then all of a sudden they all be smiling, and they say that I'm like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Sorry, but I can't. Those little kids are the sigma or whatever they're also yeah. they're saying. That's and cool. I can even tell you what that means. Real quick, this is sidebar, but I just, what do you think about girls that say bro? <laughs> I don't like that shit. Oh, sorry. I don't like girls that be doing oh, like bro. shit we do. Like yeah, exactly. Oh. Like I do not want to date the I homies. mean, I I say like dude and bro, but I don't take it as like. But that's about as right. manly as I get. And I just talk to people. I feel like I have that Cali kind of way of talking. Yeah. I don't think I say it. I don't think I say bro. Like to my guy friends, I don't think I do that. I think there's women that like emphasize it. Like that's part of like their. They try to be more. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. More bro you know, Yeah, like yeah. super cool, you know, but. I think I just talk yeah, like a valley girl sometimes. Keep it lady, so it comes yeah. Out. yeah, for sure. <laughs> keep it classy. Oh, hey, so sex. Sex, 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 sex. <laughs> How important is sex? and sex factors in Extremely a important. relationship. Extremely okay, go ahead, Britt, let's, let's start with you. So I'll say this, sex, it, it's important. Like I don't see any relationship without sex included. I will say this, like I dated somebody, 
we were dating for a few months on paper everything right mm-hmm. like that perfect this mm-hmm. listen it, he, he matches me income wise if we wanted to travel somewhere we can get up and go and travel yeah. um you know communicates really well um a supportive <laughs> But we, but <laughs> oh, wait for it. I don't I don't know if it was like maybe insecurity of him being intimidated like when it was going to go down, but I'll just say it only happened once, Dang. and then I I ended the relationship after that. Like it, I just wasn't. What was wrong with it? Was it like one minute. It, it was. was it wasn't that. one minute. It was, was just he selfish. The, the pro, no, it was the performance. Like, oh. you don't it, think it you could have like, taught him? Sometimes they just needed to be, you know, taught. As long as if you can communicate, yeah. I feel like you communicate guy. with persons. That's How the best sex is to grow with someone and learn each other's like ins and outs and get I better know, at you it. You gotta come with some sort of some sort of game, something, oh. something like let, let let's progress with what you got, but. <laughs> It, it just, it, it wasn't hitting right. Dang. That's that's what I'll say. <laughs> it, was, it was not hitting yeah, right. That and, part. <laughs> um, so and for you, that so... outweighs the, the rest of oh, life, man. though, right? Because you said it you did, checked because... every other box. And, and, also, then... and I'll be honest, like, I dated outside of my typical. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really What's like... What's your typical? <sighs> like, I typically like car like a dark caramel or darker type of gentleman. Mm-hmm. Outside of my son's father, outside of that, they've all been that way. Like me, because I'm so light, I don't really like like, like dating other light skins. Like nah, it, I'll, I'll pass <laughs> on that. Um, <laughs> That's funny. So was he outside your box? He, he was. Uh, and then he typically, he was a different like body type than I typically dated. Like I was trying to be open and it just it wasn't there so what i say i say this to say it's very important in a relation like be you you need to be attracted attracted to, and have that chemistry with your person yeah for it to last because yeah no nah. can you expand on the body type <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah so the body type what i'll say here with this is um so he was a little bit more rounder a little bit more fluffier oh, i typically I dated boy, like though. Um, they're you better. know tall like <laughs> nice build. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna get your perfect. comments like she hates fat people and all. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be attacked. The big people are gonna be attacking no. you. And oh, that's I mean, listen, it, it's the way that you carry it. Like, but typically, there's my past. Like, I've dated more brothers that were in shape mm-hmm. and stuff, and I was just like, okay, you know, like <laughs> let me try something new. Yeah, I don't like those in shape boys because they're too into themselves. Else. And when I <laughs> let me say this, when I say I in like shape, it. like I'm not talking like a bodybuilder or nothing like yeah. that. Just like you know, take care of yourself because I'm on a journey. Like yeah. I'm trying to get myself back, you know, where yeah, I want to well. be. Active, yeah. And it's important. Like mm-hmm. I gotta be here. So like you know, I want you to be kind of doing the same. Take care of yourself too. Oh, so he wasn't like healthy at all. No, I would say he was. Oh. He was just more, <laughs> more. He was just a bigger guy than I have typically dated in the past, and I just it for me for the things I like to do when I'm in the bedroom and stuff. It didn't quite work, oh, like. Man. You know, <laughs> what are you doing in the bedroom? I just want to know now. I, I think we all got to shift yeah, a whole different the See, I just want to know. Ricky I have so he, many he questions. He wasn't flipping me. Yeah, yeah I got to know. What, what was the aspect? Like, he was a little too was it? <laughs> oh, Like no, you're saying, he wasn't funny, selfish, bro. so I'm just curious. Yeah, like, like uh, it's just, I, I honestly, really, really, I just feel like the chemistry yeah, wasn't fully yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah. I just... <laughs> But yeah. I'm still yeah. gonna ask. <laughs> right, I want to know. I just want to know. That, uh, like, what was it? So, like, for instance, just too like plain. No, it wasn't too plain. Like riding was just kind of difficult. I'll just say oh, that because he had, you know, oh, but, okay, and stuff like that, and I just some other things like overly aggressive. Which don't get me wrong, I like like rough sex at yeah. times, but like oh. it wasn't hitting. It was wrong. just it, it was hitting the wrong type. Oh. I was like, this is like borderline, like nah, 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 borderline. Like you're gonna bite really like I might pass out type yeah. of situation, oh, oh, and I'm he doesn't like, know how to oh. do it right. Yeah, <laughs> like no, we're not gonna do this. So, but well, we say you gotta communicate. You know? Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, that's why I'm like, why would you? Sounds like you could have trained him so a little bit. You might have been it looking that chemistry. good to him that night. It was, it truly was, and that's what I think. Because you could have trained that man. You could have put him in the gym. You could have. I know you're trying not to, but that was someone that had all the good boxes. He he. That was your red flag right there. And he did, did. So what I think it was truly was like the chemistry just yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. And there were other factors too, because, 
you know, he was a divorce scenario, mm. but he was one of those people with, you know, kids every other week type mm. of situation. Like, hey, your one free week doesn't mean I'm free. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I said, I hate like having to explain that to men. Like, oh, well, you know, OK, I got to make. I, I, I kind of make arrangements for my kid, yeah. first and foremost. And some men don't get that at all. I wanted too much of you, pretty much that too. Yeah. yeah. So anywho, that's why that didn't work. Right. <laughs> well, let's transition into money moves. Okay. For sure. I'll go. Um, I mean, money moves is very important when you're in a relationship. You got to have your partner match, Real match you. Just yes. set up, just set up the next topic. Like next thing we're gonna talk about is money. Moves. Okay, for sure. Uh, so the next thing we gotta talk about is money moves uh, in a relationship with your significant other, or your partner, or whoever you're trying to be, you know, be with. Um, I think it's important though. I think uh, like for me in my relationship, we we match each other every step of the way. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a joint account for bills. Um, if we're saving up for something in particular, like a car or something, something crazy, something for the kids, yeah. birthday party, we we put all that money to a side and we'll like just we'll just stack up. You we'll guys just are keep stacking up. Yeah. So yeah, we know our limits. Was it always that way though? Like when you guys nah, first got together? Nah, at the, you know. At, <laughs> what was it? What was like? So then? so the beginning was just like because you're spitting a fairy tale to the rest of us no, around here. Right? No, so, like, so at the beginning, because we've been it. we've been together for a while, so at the beginning, I was she just focused on her bills and her finances. Finances, and then I did this same exact thing, but when we when we when we got the house and we had kids, that's when everything changed. Mm. That's that's when everything was like when you had to tighten up, split down, split yeah. down a little. Mm -hmm. But before that, I was just focused on she and what she wanted to do. Or Were both of you guys independently good with money? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, shit. I would say in my younger day, I bought whatever. I, what when I got paid, I bought whatever I wanted to buy. Yeah. So I wasn't really. She's very good at saving and putting money up and it took me a while to that's to women in that. general yeah, manage yeah, yeah. money better when you guys than went bros, out did you, know you know always so? pay or was it like split uh, like when you guys first got together i would i would pay yeah. i would pay because i felt like that's just i was cheese so i was just like you know what <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's gonna pay like yeah. I, I had this type of i can't have those women paying <laughs> for me <laughs> no, i had this type of attitude but then later on we started she wanted to pay and we started splitting, splitting stuff and i just, think women always are like that in the relationship when a man shows first that they're gonna invest in them too mm -hmm. because women will bring out the best in you mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. like i've treated many once they've shown themselves to me like even just people i'm casually dating oh don't worry i got it mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Show that intention, like it's all about the give and take. And I say, you doing for me, I'm gonna do for you too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You brought up a good point earlier, like about providing more than just finances, right? Like I think the social media aspect makes it seem like every you got to pay all the bills, you got to fly me out, you yeah, got to do X, Y, and Z, yeah. right? <laughs> so these kids or these men aren't even getting a chance at you know, a real relationship and what that might look like. You got to be able to provide safe space, you know, uh, some kind of structure to the relationship. I yes. feel like that's a man's responsibility. Um, and you can be an individual there, but we got to have goals together, bro. And that's how you manage your money and everything in my experience, at least. Uh, so yeah, we split everything, but if we go out to eat, we travel, I usually take on the bigger chunk cause it's extra curriculum. Um, and I can lean on her whenever I need to yeah, absolutely. and vice versa. We can yeah. lean on each other. And as long as you got that safety blanket, I feel like that's really where it matters. So make it yeah. worse for sure. I agree. Too many people have that fake thing in their head though you know what i'm saying and with that comes a certain power dynamic even like a lot of women that are in those positions have no voice in their relationship you know what i'm saying the man doing whatever you want to do i yeah. pay all the bills shut up you know what i'm saying cook clean yeah. so it's all those factors play into that to that money dynamic to me so if you split and everything build you know what i'm saying use the extra money towards y'all relationship, towards y'all common goal. Now, if we splitting bills and I'm fucking off still, that's a whole different, that's a whole different yeah. thing, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. vice versa. So that's yeah. why I think about when we talk about finances. Yep. Yeah, and you mentioned no. women with no voice, like, bro, I cannot be in a relationship with a girl that ain't got no sex. Oh, like, bro, like, or, or, or y'all, I know y'all don't want to be yeah. with a man <laughs> No, I don't want to be with, yeah. You want a man to lead. I talk. Yeah. You don't want to be checking your man. Like, no, yeah. Like, you know if, I, I want to be the woman in the relationship. Right. Because as single, I'm the man in the woman right now. Mm -hmm. Right, so, like have the man like you lead me. Like, what? Like, I don't want to make all the decisions. Mm -hmm. Like, be feminine. Yeah, take me out of that masculine energy. Definitely, and I have to be in that masculine energy a lot with work. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a complete alpha at work. But like, if I'm in in uh, in a relationship with somebody, like, 
let me be soft. Lead me. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me, daddy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hello. Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Zaddy. That's what all women want. And men just, I don't know why they can't figure it out. Like, it's shocking to me. It's like, that social, you treat her good. You you show, she's going to start blossoming. Mm-hmm. But men don't do that. So then the women just, like, stay inside. Like you said earlier, like, men are intimidated by women that got their shit together. So they're probably in their shell towards y'all. Because I know y'all, y'all are independent. Y'all got y'all shit going. So some men see that and they, like, curl up mm-hmm. you know what i mean absolutely yeah. like sure. i've experienced that like uh, i was dating somebody at the time when i met him i'm just a regular like supervisor at the point in time um obviously things were happening with me i'm manifesting i'm a big big believer with manifesting like i remember in 23 what year are we in now we're in 24 23 beginning of the year I'm going to buy a house this year. Mm. I'm going to get this AVP position, et cetera, et cetera. I kept talking about it, talking about it. Sure enough, um, November, I get the position. This is happening to me. When this is happening to me, I'm elevating. And he starts to withdraw himself. Like, because, you know, I'm in a relationship. I'm sharing what I'm going to be making, et cetera, et cetera. And, like, after that conversation stemmed, like he was pulling back even more and more and more. And I was like, well, what the hell is going on here? But it was like, I'm not up to your par. Later having conversations like, look at what you're doing. I'm just going to be over here slowing you down. And I was like, no, like, and like, I had a sit down conversation. Like, I still want to do this relationship with you. Your amount of money you make to me, that's irrelevant as long as you're carrying your weight. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand people have good bad times you know you're going to hit the ground you could hit rock bottom i said if we're in a relationship i'm gonna be there for you you're not going to be here forever i don't expect you to be here forever but i will lend that support during that time but for some once they hear your title or what type what you're making what you have oh she owns a house like what like that's like red, like men get like deer in the headlights. It's a lot of insecure. It's a, men, it's I will give them props though, because they know not to like get involved then. Unlike the toxic men that aren't ready that get involved and then they just destroy you. True. Mentally. True. Yeah. yeah. True. I agree. It's a lot of insecurity. I think a lot of men be kind of like jealous of women that have their shit together and very yeah. insecure. Very yeah. fucking insecure. I'll say this. I think just a lot of men don't realize what they want. Yeah. Because yeah. even growing up, I always thought I wanted the independent boss because that's what you that's what we're brought up to think we want. Gotta have our own all those things. I N D N B and I can't spell anything like that, but all those songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I got older, I'm like, uh, I actually want more of a traditional relationship. Like in my relationship, I'm I work, she's stay at home mom. But I didn't realize that at first. So I found myself in a lot of bad relationships because that's not what I really wanted. Cause that's not how I grew up. I didn't see it. me growing up. My, my dad worked, my mom stayed at home. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of men don't realize what they want and they get in these relationships and then they learn and you're learning with them, you know, yes. and then it can be toxic for everybody, honestly. Yep. So you don't want it to be like how you grew up. You want it to be completely different. I want it to be like how I grew up. Oh, I thought your mom stayed home. She didn't. That's how my relationship. Oh, that's how that's what you want. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought at first I wanted, you know, you get yours, I get mine, and. I think a lot of men think that. Yeah. And they don't realize that when you are more traditional, you find better women too. Yeah. Otherwise, you are going to find the women that are not there for what they're supposed to be there yeah. for. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Real emotion. All right, do you want to go to the last topic? We're at 40 minutes. I want to get maybe 10 more minutes so we can go dating with kids. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with Britt. Hey, so the next topic here <laughs> is dating with kids. Britt, let's talk about it. Dating with kids is okay. It's not bad, um, but it it's challenges, right? Like I, uh, my last two relationships after my son's father, they both met my son pretty quickly into dating, which they did turn into relationships, but they both had children. Mm-hmm. So it's easier to kind of migrate and um, obviously. How long did you wait? Uh, probably. Three months with the first one, and then for the second one, because it was a mutual friend type of situation, it was quicker. So I think we had the kids meet at about uh, a month, a month in. Mm -hmm. So, but I will say this, like, obviously dating somebody that does have kids, they understand the schedules. Mm -hmm. Um, They give more grace there. 
um, with <laughs> the ones that without are without kids. I have ran into men um, that are very, very understanding and they get it. Like single mom, you got to be, hey, this day works. We're, we're planning. I have a my calendar is like <laughs> full, like I'll plot things out. Um, but I don't think it's a really bad thing. But listen, like if we're going to move forward, you're accepting my child, too, yeah. at this point. Yeah. And I just give all the disclosures up front, like when I'm dating people like, hey, like. I'm a single mom, a truly single mom. Explain that situation. Um, I have a seven-year-old, so it's not like he's a teenager. Like, I, I'm at games. I'm doing all of that stuff. So you kind of get in where you fit in, and you either get with it or you don't. Yeah. And I'll keep pushing if they don't. Yeah. So. I'll throw it. Do you feel like it's easier well, now that your kid's older or, or when they were yeah. younger? I would say younger just because I had help. Mm -hmm. um, my son's father passed away when he was three. Okay. So I lost that help. And then I also had my mom until 21. So I had that help to get a babysitter. So it's a lot e easier for me. Okay. Now it's more so like, dang. But also my son's aware now. So I can't just be like cat more so casually dating anymore. I think it's a I red flag when it. men want you to meet their childs when they're like so young in the relationship and when their kids are younger. Like to me, I won't date a man that has a kid that's not already like in maybe like elementary or middle school. Because I would agree they with need that. to know the like schedule of their kids, whatever they got going on with the mom. Yeah. Like yeah. I want that figured thing. out. I don't so want to be a reason too. or an excuse of any reason. Like yeah. anything. And it's harder too. like I had the aspect too when my son's father was alive, like the baby mama, baby daddy. Yeah. Dynamic. That's kind of tough. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. Like my the the baby. Well, the girlfriend I was dealing with me as a baby mama, I tried to be very I always wanted a good, good co-parenting relationship, even when we split. But like the aspect of dealing with somebody he chose to date at the time, which was also like eight years younger than us. So a different mindset. Yeah, for sure. Lord have mercy. I almost went to jail. Like I think men have a different mindset, too, when they have kids than women, because women think a lot more emotionally think about it. Yeah. And men think that's what women want, because I dated a guy that had a two-year-old and he wanted me to meet her right away and i was all i was the one saying no i don't think that's appropriate because i was raised yeah. with a single parent household and i my mom would never do that how she would soon, never bring someone how soon did he want you he wanted like in a couple of weeks oh no oh, yeah, yeah so, no. so i, I would have been like i made him wait a couple mm -hmm. months and then we met and i mean she was two and even then he would like say stuff about the mom like about the schedule and i would never be i think that was a big problem because i would never be on his side because i never thought he was right yeah because what he was doing wasn't right yeah, wasn't yeah. Right. and yeah. i'm not gonna like stroke your ego when i'm gonna try to tell you like you need to understand from the mom's point of view yeah. Like he was taking her back to court because she moved too far away and it was too far him, for him to drive. I go, no court's going to do that for you. No, no court's yeah. going to no. do that and say shit. She can't live in a good school zone. Her kid's like happy over there. It's clean. It's safe. Yeah. yeah. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I think the the age thing is huge for sure, bro. For sure, like yeah. you can't tell me the baby two two years or younger and there's no connection to the baby father still short of a tragedy or something like that. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? But in my experience, it was always some kind of like something so lingering you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, yeah, sure. you can it's feel it it's almost new. like a synergy yeah, yeah. it's exactly, too new bro. like yeah. a baby like under two years old like especially how often like you need to be there for your mm -hmm. child and everything like nah there's still some feelings i just put there. myself in the man's shoes like if i was having a kid and even if me and my baby mama was like at odds at that time like two years I've seen fathers come back in mm -hmm. and like, yeah. you know, be super prominent. Even in if kids they have life. a new relationship, yeah. it's still young. Cause exactly. think about it. They had to just start dating if that baby is still no, tiny, yeah. you know? So you need that time, let that mm -hmm. kid, you know, the system, all that. That's a great yeah, point. They can get crazy too. Cause like, if I'm, if I just had a kid and my lady's moving on and our baby's like one or two, it's like, you probably thinking crazy you and like making it. their life harder yeah. and then they're thinking different about you yeah. and you're kind of changing you like how that. you are. Yeah. yeah. And it's feeling like you're losing your, your family yeah. too. Yeah. Like it's yeah. like, dang, all this chaos. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of drama in between. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I also think men shouldn't date women that aren't full time parents. Like I think you should at least have fifty fifty or full 
thing. I think it's weird when women don't have like mm. full custody. It's of hard for a woman to yeah. get their custody taken it, away. That's what I'm that saying. Like, it's yeah, really hard. That, and emotionally, that's that's yeah. something emotional too to have a woman that's, that's not connected you to her kid you constantly. Mm -hmm. Like I get it. Maybe like then yeah, that's probably so. like she has some other things going yeah, on that yeah. she needs to Six. work out yeah. before that happens. But right. I think like I when do want to ask this question real quick off topic a little bit. But like, what's y'all? What examples do you guys have? Like where you said you were raised in a single home as well. Uh, my mom raised me like did you have both family or both parents in the crib or? no it was my mom and my grandma gotcha. so no father figure for outside sure. of my uncle yeah it was my mom and my step pops gotcha yeah for sure yeah because i feel like that plays a huge factor too like it you see does. a lot of like you know trauma carried down or whatever the case may be but perspective like when you talk about perspective or relationships a lot of that stems from shoot our examples around us whether yeah, it's like what we aunt, see. you ain't got no auntie or uncle that's been married for years you know yeah. you ain't got no to real examples you, of relationships exactly. like them people are usually a little more my mom already married and my stepdad is my dad yep. even though we're we don't talk at all anymore i don't ever think negative about him about that because yep. he had to go do stuff to work on himself and i always respect that as a person Jeez. but that man stepped up to be a father for me when my dad didn't want anything to do with us that's amazing that's, that's, real shit. that's amazing yeah. Yeah. take a real man to do some shit it, it does, does. Bro, it absolutely sure. and, you know he just had a substance problem and but he knew not to come around and stuff anymore and that, i think that's even more of a man mm -hmm. to step up for yeah that. for sure for sure um, Andy, uh, we're going to close it out, but is there any final words, thoughts, anything y'all want to say before we wrap up? No, nah, man, I always try to talk to the youth. You know, I do a lot with my community center and stuff, but just don't get caught up in that social media shit, man. Yeah. There's a lot of good women out there. There's a lot of good, real, genuine men. Uh, you know, when you're placing those expectations that you're seeing from a cell phone screen on a real human, like, it's never going to line up. You know what I'm saying? So take time, have grace, be a good person. Don't lose faith. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, love is the coolest thing in the world and you can spend it any way you want whether it's a friend family whatever uh keep that that would be my positive message i always try to push in people are gonna fuck up and do mistakes or you know do you foul yeah. and that's just part of the journey you know what i'm saying but set yourself up protect yourself obviously but lead with love man give it a shot and and keep going because being lonely 55 bro yeah. you know even if you got the most motion that. in the world yeah. bro I don't like want that, that, but that I'm shit not gonna settle to for different. somebody that's not so yeah that's why i said like protect yourself don't settle yeah but also don't block your blessings because yeah. i feel like a lot of people are doing that these days bro yeah. and my and my when i hear people talk about it it's like that's why i said look inward off the jump because mm -hmm. we, we setting up all these fences and shit we not yeah. it could be right in front of us yeah. i just gotta fine tune them a little bit you know what i'm saying i gotta be able to, to get them right you yeah cutting them off <laughs> yeah and, and i be telling my little brothers too my little brother and my little cousins they're like 24 and under and i'm just like bro take y'all time mm -hmm. yeah make sure y'all find mrs right mm -hmm. like just take your time don't rush to have kids do not rush make sure you have the kids by the right person because all that and there's nothing wrong I, certain shit don't work out yeah people yeah. gotta co parents that's just yeah, yeah. what it is but don't just be having kids by multiple women mm -hmm. no that just builds a bunch of drama child learn support. from every relationship yeah. like, bro. Learn from it. don't keep repeating the same just, thing pretty much just take your time yeah. Take your fucking time and um, don't have like so much high expectations. Literally, bro. You know I, mean? I think that's the reason why a lot of my homies is they want to they they want to build a bitch like they want <laughs> that that's just doesn't that's just doesn't work like you just like that's just not but but yeah just take your time. I'm, I'm Unless you're dating young, I think most women are built and they don't they feel the same way about men. They yeah. don't want to build them either at yeah, this age. For sure. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. For sure. What you saying? I think it's just you have to remember to kind of put yourself first to like don't find what you actually want and what's going to give you that spark like how you weren't having that spark just make sure you find someone that you can feel you're going to grow old with mm -hmm. that you can communicate that you can be happy with don't just like settle because you want you don't want to be lonely yeah you know put yourself first yeah no I absolutely agree with you like that's the biggest thing is take your time especially those that are in their early 20s like don't rush to get into a relationship you got ages and f do what makes you and discover yourself of what you like your hobbies like pour into yourself mm -hmm. be a complete person before you get into a relationship with somebody else so it's two holes coming together yeah you know i'm still being optimistic trying to date out here now but 
at the end of the day, I'm also okay, like being single, yeah, sure. like, yeah. and not needing anybody. Like I'm not single and lonely, like not at all. It's okay to be single. It's okay to pour in yourself and build yeah. yourself and just be, be with one. Yeah. Oh, I so. say you could do bad by yourself, bro. No, so you sure. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> well, what do you think about this? Cause I just want to push back a little bit because when I was in my twenties, I didn't date a lot at all. I didn't. And then when I got in my later 20s and I wanted to, I realized I had a lot of deficits, you know what I mean? That I would have never learned unless you're in a relationship. So looking back, I wish I had a date more in my 20s so that when I got with the person that I wanted to be with, I would at least have some understanding of what Knowledge. it takes. Experience yeah. of it. Because yeah. I've, stu- I've, I've, I've been making stupid mistakes that most people know, like, oh yeah, women don't like that. I would know because I've never been in a relationship long enough to hit that stage. So to young people, what do you think about that? You know, when you were giving them advice, avoid relationships. And then when you want one, get in one or. I would say, I would say pour into yourself. But if you meet somebody, go ahead, try it out. But don't like if something's a red flag, like don't stay with it. Like that's what I did in my early because I didn't know no better. And I was like, I knew this probably wasn't right in a relationship, but I stayed just because I, I wanted to be in a relationship. Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid to get out the relationship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. the thing. I think that's I stayed in too many relationships. I should have got out a long time ago. But I just... Yes. You know, Agreed. You just think a different way when you're in it mm-hmm. and you want that person to and think try the to same have, way. Like, yeah, we had like a real graceful bow out in my last uh, long relationship. You know what I'm saying? It was very mature. Yeah. We ain't serving each other no more. You know what I'm saying? X, Y, and Z. You take this, I take that. We went our separate ways, which is not the case in a lot of situations. I'm learning, like, usually people coming out upside down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You done messed up my credit out and fucked yeah, up your fuck credit. That. Like, all kind of shit, trying to break leases. So, That's like a mature. You know, just be mature. mature yeah. Like yeah. 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 You That's guys were saying. mature enough to do that. But a, a lot, lot of people yeah. are. A lot. Nah. Evil than the most. Yeah. They'll just ghost it's you spiteful, or just bro. like. It's like, we 25 years I just walk spiteful. away. I don't want to be involved anymore. I'll I'll like X them out completely. Like, but that goes back them. to communication yeah. too. Like, you have to have good, bad. You got to be able to communicate. Like, it ain't working no more. Let's let's have a conversation. But people are scared to have the tough conversations. For sure, amen. And where can they follow y'all at on Instagram? I'm gonna start with you, Britt. Uh, you can follow me at b underscore nicole eighty eight. I'm at at sammy underscore bunny eighty nine. Uh, I'll be on and off social media a lot, but right now it's at uh, E Y E A L Z uh, on Instagram only. All right, sure. and it's Medium Mill. Y'all can follow, follow me, Medium Mill. Hey, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all coming and Thanks turning for up with us, me. I have yes. to fill in for my guy, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate y'all for sure. All right, clap everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.